Hey everybody, I'm outside of the theater right now. Just got done watching this film, okay? Um, you know that I am a huge supporter of movies with meaning. And it was a very, very powerful film. You must see it, you must share it. And you can't pretend you don't know that it's real. And I know that human trafficking is a difficult, challenging thing for people to face. But the reality is, there's lots of people out there that are bound up. Historically, there's more people bound up in slavery right now than ever in history, even whenever slavery was real. Perversion feeds on this stuff, and we are living in a country where we're one of the top consumers. There are people, primarily children, that are being trafficked. And I encourage you to, to come see the movie, okay? Get a little uncomfortable for once, right? Get a little uncomfortable and think about what really happens. And then what can you do? What you can do is you can share a message of hope. You could be praying for these children that are caught up in this. You could be praying that the traffickers have an encounter with God and they, they come to know him and turn from their wicked ways. Children, y'all, children. So I want to encourage you. It's on at the theater, and you know the best way to get a message to Hollywood is to be able to go out and support a film. And when a film first comes out, that first 24 to 48 hours is crucial, crucial, crucial. Tomorrow's Independence Day. Do you know how many people are not free because of perversion? So I want to encourage you. It's right here. I got it right here. Jim Caziezel played in a who, y'all know, he's just incredible. He paid, played Tim Ballard. It's based on a true story. It's an incredible story. But it's not about the story. They even said with a special little thing at the end that it's not about the story. It's about the story of the children that, are, that were rescued and the multiple ones that have yet to be. And you can be a part by making sure that you are educated about trafficking, that you know what to watch for because it's happening in your own backyards. And if you think that you live in a you know, half a million dollar home and you're in a nice subdivision that you're safe from it, no. They target areas like that. They go into the malls and they watch young girls go by and they know, predators, man, they know who has a low self-esteem. They know who is an easy target. And they will lure in and try to lure them in with ideals of entertainment or modeling and things like that. There are boys out there making lots of money because they are luring girls in to fall in love with them. And then they boyfriend them in, they, they lure them in. And, and this film didn't go into a lot of that stuff, but I'm just giving you a couple tips and a couple things that you need to watch for because you got a daughter. And if you don't have a daughter, you have a niece. And if you don't have a niece, you have a sister. And if you don't have a sister, you know, you know someone. Okay, and boys are at a high risk. There are so many per perverted people out there that are at high risk that are looking for little boys. And I've got to move my phone out of the sun because it's going to shut off if I don't. But I'm here with my husband and we're on a date, so I'm going to hop off of here. But I just want to share the importance of sharing about this film, going to see this film, supporting this film, and getting the word out, regardless of whatever community you're in. So I just want to encourage you, be brave, be bold. You know, talk about the hard stuff, okay? This is hard stuff, okay? It's hard stuff. But you know what? Pretending it doesn't exist doesn't change things. Exposure changes things. When you turn on the light, when you go into a dark room, bugs run, right? And when we turn the light of Jesus on and help people to get freedom in Christ, things shift and they change. So regardless of what you're doing today, I encourage you tomorrow, fill the theaters, share this video out. It's in probably every, here in Murfreesboro, I'm at the AMC on Case and Lane. I know it's shown in Manchester, Franklin, a couple other places, but get people in the theaters, fill this place up to where this film just keeps going and going and going. And the message of hope keeps going out and people start to look in the mirror and they start saying, hey, wait, is me looking at porn contributing to this? Heck to the yeah, it is. OK, so if you're bound up with that, get free, man, because there are things that lead into that darkness and, and you know, we have got to be the light. So I encourage you, I employ you. I challenge you, go see the film, okay? It's the sound of freedom, okay? It's Liberty Weekend. So God bless you guys. See you later. Ciao.